Haley, can you refresh our memory as to what we call it? What is that word when you have to determine the meaning? Inference. Okay? And every time we take a test, we have inference questions, don't we? Okay? You know the answer, but you can't open up to a page and point to the sentence that gives you the answer. Okay? And good readers, boys and girls, make inferences all the time. Well, today I'm going to be reading you a story where you are going to be making some inferences about the characters in the story. Okay? There are two main characters in the story. And as you're reading, I'm going to be asking you some questions about their points of view. Okay? A point of view, boys and girls, is when you tell a story, okay, if you're telling the story about, oh, the basketball game you played at recess, whose point of view is it? Uh, Angela. Angela. She's the one telling the story. Okay? Now, how many of you have ever been doing something with, uh, oh, I've got a perfect one. Your brother and sister, you get in a fight. And of course, you didn't start it right. You didn't do anything wrong. And you go to your mom and dad, and mom says, okay, what happened? And you say one thing, and your brother or sister says another, right? You have different points of view about what's happening, okay? You're thinking one way, the other person's thinking from a different point of view. Well, in the story we're going to read today, there are two characters who have a little different idea about how things are going. Okay? So that's what my questions are going to be about today. Making inferences to determine or figure out character's point of view. Okay? All right. The title of the story, eyes on Mrs. Davis, the title of the story is Timothy's Five City Tour. Some of you may have read it. This has been on our bookshelf all year. Yeah. It has. Missed out on this great book all year. Okay. Now, the introduction to this story is very important because it sets up the whole book so that you know what's going on, okay? So listen carefully. And remember, as we're reading, my questions are going to be inference questions so that you can figure out what the characters are thinking about this trip that they're taking. Okay? Timothy was excited. He was going on his first trip with his school band. They would play in five cities. The last stop would be the White House. Be good and listen to Mr. Mask, said Timothy's mother and father. They waved goodbye. Everything will be fine, called Timothy. I will write to you. Timothy waved goodbye, and they were off. They look like a possum. I'm not sure what kind of animal that is. Okay. So, very quickly, so that I know you know exactly what's going on in the story, turn and talk to your partner about what's going to be happening in this story. What did you just learn? got a little sidetracked and we're making predictions and that's so hard not to do because you really want to know what's going on. But the question was, what do we know about what the book is going to be about? Okay, What did we learn? Who is it going to be about and what is going to be happening? It looks like Groundhog. Okay, but what do we know about who it's about and what they're going to be doing? Timothy is going on a tour to five different cities. The last stop is going to be the White House and he's going to write to his parents. Wow, I think he covered it all. Adam thinks he has something else to add. 